Was there a trigger that caused you to want to sell? The moment that we took investment, I felt a moral obligation to sell the company. And we took investment in cash, but we also took investment in time. So our buyer, uh, her name is Stacia Prince, and she is a complete rock star, best hands down, indisputed in the industry, and had a very successful career of 20 years in the beauty industry and in retail before meeting me. And Stacia gave up a very well paid um, position to work with me on Cult Beauty because she believed in the ethos of what I was trying to do, of becoming the most trusted beauty retailer in the world, telling the truth and bringing, bringing integrity um, and transparency to the industry. And Stacia agreed to work on commission. So the brands that she brought in, she would get a percentage of, of the revenue from the brands that she brought in. She also got equity in the company. Stacia's first check, I think I can say this. Well, Stacy, I don't think she's going to get mad at me for saying this. I believe it was four pound thirty seven. But she had dedicated a lot of time and talent and her contacts, her expertise. She mentored me. She helped guide me. She didn't. I mean, she deserved more than four pound thirty seven for that. She also had invested uh, in in later rounds. She also invested in um, in the company. So. The, the people that wrote checks to us, a lot of them were, they were, they were my parents, they were co-founders' parents, they were friends of mine, my aunt, uh, and they weren't, I would say, uh, they weren't interest-free loans. So it was, I, 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 felt, I, I felt a moral obligation to make a return to anyone who had invested their time or money because they invested it with a very reasonable expectation of a return, except for my parents and my aunt, who all, all went we just never thought we'd see this money again. I can't believe you did this. This is amazing. So there's a, an expectation that when you raised your first dollar of external money that you knew you were going to sell at some point. But I'd be curious, what was the straw that broke the camel's back? What event took place that, that, that made you decide, okay, now's the time? Yeah, I think, I think I had enough conversations with other entrepreneurs that had exited that I, I understood that venture capital funds and private equity funds have their own like investment cycles that they're expected to return. Um, they're expected to make returns within that window. And I remember one very successful serial entrepreneur over here saying, when you're deciding what you're going to do next, you have to really think about it because it's the next three to 10 years of your life. So once we hit that 10 year mark, I was really starting to feel that it was time to it was time to start making good on our our promise to uh, to return some cash to our investors. So what did you do next? What was the process like for you? Did you hire a banker? Did you take it to market yourself? What was what was that like? We did. Yeah, we hired. We had multiple investment banks pitch. Some of this is the how we decided and how that was. And I'm sorry because I know that is really crucial. 